Thank you. Muchas gracias. Thank you so much for the warm welcome and extraordinary honor to be here today. Havana is only 90 miles from Florida, and I've come here. I've traveled this distance on a bridge that was built by Cubans on both sides of the Florida Straits. But to get here, we had to travel a great distance over barriers of history and ideology, barriers of pain and separation between us. The Cuban Revolution took place the same year that my father came to the United States from Kenya. The Bay of Pigs took place the year that I was born. The next year, the entire world held its breath watching our two countries as humanity came as close as we ever have to the horror of nuclear war. As the decades rolled by, our government settled into a seemingly endless confrontation. I have come here to bury the last remnant of the Cold War in the Americas. I have come here to extend the hand of friendship to the Cuban people. I want to be clear, the differences between our governments over these many years are real and they are important. But before I discuss those issues, we also need to recognize how much we share. For all of our differences, the Cuban and American people share common values in their own lives, a sense of patriotism and a sense of pride, a lot of pride a profound love of family, a passion for our children, a commitment to their education. But we cannot and should not ignore the very real differences that we have about how we organize our governments, our economies, and our societies. Despite these differences, on December 17, 2014, President Castro and I announced that the United States and Cuba would begin a process to normalize relations between our countries. What the United States was doing was not working. The embargo was only hurting the Cuban people instead of helping them. And today I want to share with you my vision of what our future can be. I want the Cuban people, especially the young people, to understand why I believe that you should look to the future with hope, hope that is rooted in the future that you can choose and that you can shape and that you can build for your country. Creo en el pueblo cubano. I believe in the Cuban people. I believe that every person should have the freedom to practice their faith peacefully and publicly. And yes, I believe voters should be able to choose their governments in free and democratic elections. America's revolution, Cuba's revolution, the liberation movements around the world, those ideals find their truest expression, I believe, in democracy. Not because American democracy is perfect, but precisely because we're not. And we, like every country, need the space that democracy gives us to change. El futuro de Cuba tiene que estar en las manos del pueblo cubano. As President of the United States, I have called on our Congress to lift the embargo. But even if we lifted the embargo tomorrow, Cubans would not realize their potential without continued change here in Cuba. And I can tell you as a friend that sustainable prosperity in the 21st century also depends on the free and open exchange of ideas. And I know that part of Cuba's identity is its pride in being a small island nation that could stand up for its rights and shake the world. Cuba doesn't have to be defined by being against the United States any more than the United States should be defined by being against Cuba. The history of the United States and Cuba encompass revolution and conflict, struggle and sacrifice, and now reconciliation. It is time now for us to leave the past behind. It is time for us to look forward to the future together. Un futuro de esperanza. And it won't be easy, and there will be setbacks. It will take time. But my time here in Cuba renews my hope and my confidence in what the Cuban people will do. We can make this journey as friends, and as neighbors, and as family, together. Si se puede. Muchas gracias. Thank you.